Okay, this is going to be a short video on how to set up Microsoft Word uh, to act like Scrivener, which is software that allows you to see all of your chapters and scenes. And uh, for anybody looking to set up Microsoft Word to write a book, this will be very helpful. So you're gonna open up a document in Microsoft Word. You can choose to do the margins an inch and an inch if you want. The margins don't really matter. Okay. And then you're going to set up your book. So we'll have the book name. Okay. And then we'll have chapter one. <clears throat> Let's use all caps. It's easier. Chapter one. Okay. And we'll have the name of the chapter so that you can keep them straight. And then we'll have scene one and name of scene. Okay. And then what we're going to do is copy this. Copy. Okay. Now, so we're going to go to the home tab. And over here where we have heading one, we're going to, first of all, we're going to take the book name, all right? And we're going to use a title for that one, this one here, all right? And then if you want to modify the text and the size, you can click on here where it says, you right click, excuse me, right click on title and click on modify, all right? And then we're going to come down here and change this to Times New Roman. Okay, you can choose whatever font you want. And let's do 36, gigantic. Okay, and we're going to bold it. And let's see here. We're going to make it center. All right, let's choose the color. We'll make this dark blue. Okay, so there's the book name. All right, now, chapter one we're going to make, we're going to highlight this and make this heading one. Okay. And then for the scenes, we're going to make those heading two. And we're going to change this to Times New Roman. This just happens to be my favorite, but you can choose whatever you want. And we'll make this like 18. And we'll make this a different color so it stands out. All right, let's make this um, green. All right. Okay, and then we're going to automatically update. This is going to make sure all of the heading twos are going to follow this formatting. Okay, now we have to just click here and click on H2 and see how it changes it. Now let's copy this. Copy. Oh dear, I wonder why this copy. All right, now let's see, let's get rid of this guy. Or actually, we don't have to get rid of him. We can just click on the H2 and it's going to change it. All right. And let's see here. All right, now, so this is one, two, so we want to do three, ten. Whoops. Actually, let's do, let's make these numbers so you could more easily see them. Okay, let's say we just want nine scenes in every chapter, okay? Now, because we have these set up as headings, they're going to uh, appear on the navigation pane, which is going to be over here on the left-hand side. And the way to get that to appear is to hit Control F. All right. And then you're going to click on this headings one here. All right. And here's all of the names of your chapter and your scenes. Okay. So then if you want to have chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, Okay, that's one. So you just have to go back and change this. Okay, chapter three. 
And you might want to use numbers here now that I'm thinking of it. I'm not going to take your time to show you changing them. Okay. So let's say you set, let's say you're writing a novel and the average number of chapters in a novel is say 25 or 30. So what you would do is you would go down this document and create uh, 20 chapters each with say nine scenes. Okay. And then you're going to save that as a you know book writing template all right you just click here save as and then you would put it wherever you want and you would call it uh you know book writing uh template all right and then anytime you want to start a new book you would just pull this open and all of these are already set up so the only thing you have to do is click on the f the control f to reveal this navigation pane and don't don't forget you need to be on the headings tab underneath navigation and then it acts very similar to Scrivener and it also allows you when you're writing a book to start changing the name of the scenes as you complete the task so when you come in after having stopped writing you can tell by the list here where you left off okay so I hope that makes writing your new book much easier.